Hello and welcome to how to set a ward space up. So, you've decided to choose a ward space route. Nothing against it, nothing bad or good about it. It's just a ward space. So, to start, you're going to go to site, manage sites, and double click your site name. And this time, instead of clicking advanced or site, click servers. And what we're going to do is add our server in here. So, click the plus, and in here, give it a name. It's got nothing to do with your site whatsoever, it's just in case you want multiple servers. So I'm going to call it Dan Brooks 2 Server. That'll do. Connection using, you want to choose FTP. Now a couple of them are different, it depends on what provider you're using, but mostly people use FTP. You've also got FTP over SSL, you've got two of them, and basically that'll just encrypt it, say you in like you you're doing it through a library or something which checks your data and you want to keep it secure local slash network is if you're right next to the server so if you're hosting your website yourself use that otherwise just use FTP so if you don't know any of that just pick FTP so now we need to go and set up all this data here really simple to and I don't know why that was there you can just get rid of that there but yeah so go to your browser and go to awardspace.com right there as you can see awardspace.com so next once you've done that what you want to do is go to login or click here to get it On, under the free or whatever package you want I'm going to go with three, free so click here to get it and it should load so once it loads you'll be presented with this screen and of course they are going to try and sell you it throughout everything so be careful on what you click choose your web hosting plan you want free web nothing else because everyone else costs you need free web and that will give you the basic stuff there see FTP access that's what we're using so get a domain name you can do that later don't do it now because of course it'll try to charge you see it'll try to charge you for all those so don't do it yet um, don't worry about the SSL VPS or that one yet we can do all that later if you need it so just click continue and it should continue like this and this it wants a bit more personal information than T15 does but I've been with them for a while and I've had no issues so just go along so just fill it out and then I'll be back once I've filled it out so you don't see all my details because of course I don't need to see that and also I should note before you finish in order to finish this bottom thing all you do is literally click on the circle which is open it's that simple so I'll be back in a minute so once you've done you should receive this screen here and I've covered up my email and my user name if you wish with notepad so you can't see where it is because it's potentially a security risk but all it's basically saying is thank you for choosing blah 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 but now you need to go to your emails to actually confirm it please check your email really simple so log into your emails and I'll see you in a minute well I'm back and it turns out it actually put my messages in the spam folder so make sure you watch out for that um, if you don't receive it, if you don't receive it what you can do is go back to the other page and it'll say a button saying click to log in click it and it'll say resend activation link really simple so what you're going to do is I'm going to firstly tell it it's not spam there and I'm going to click it and then all you're going to do is click that link right there and that should be it and that's it you're all done so you can cross off the other tabs you don't need them anymore and you'll become you'll so come to award spaces layout really simple so what we're going to do is go to firstly domain manager and a domain is your website name so this will be things such as um, Dan Brooks or Dan Brooks 2 YouTube Facebook they're all domain names so what we're going to do is go register a free domain now you can also click create a free domain subdomain but it'll give you these end ones which are a bit weird I like the free domain and you get dx.am it's nice so we can go you don't type www dot you simply type Dan Brooks 2 whatever your website is please don't type Dan Brooks 2 but type whatever website you want in and it'll add the dot to it it'll add the www.http and click register and it should spawn it Boom. So one thing about this one is it only lasts a year, but you can literally just download and save it again, so it's okay. So congratulations, you now have a domain name. So I think if you actually copy and paste this, 
it'll actually say you've got a website. This web page is not available. It's that's partially good. That also means you've got a, a website online. It just means there's nothing in it. You're accessing a blank thing. Unlike T15 gives you a default page. So what I can do is click continue. And okay, we need to carry on registering. Free option, host your domain with us, blah blah blah, you get all that. Or you can pay for it. Let's pay for it. Let's not yet. It's free tutorial, isn't it? Click free and click continue. Make sure you click free because sometimes they switch it around. Now all this you can pay for if you like. Um adds extra security, blah blah blah. I don't really want it. If someone's that intended to hack me, I'll just upload it to a different server. It makes more sense. Click continue. And again it's gonna say how do you want to check out? And you can see somehow it got me with a hundred and thirty nine pounds. So we can go edit cart and we can actually get rid of it. I didn't see where that came from. I did tell you to watch out though. Save and continue. Go back onto this page. It's done. You've set everything up. All you need to do is click the circle and click yes I agree. Then it should work. Now click continue and you should work. be done. And now we have congratulations you have been done. Perfect. So I reload our website again and you see we still get nothing because we've not really put anything in it. So the next step is to actually be able to upload our website is it not? really simple to do so what we're gonna do is go to FTP manager and this is how in Dreamweaver we get the details here FTP FTP yes so here you can see it's already been set up for you which is really helpful so there the password you have previously chose now you haven't chose a password so we need to change it so if you click password here you can actually change what the password is again well, not again, you've not watched the other tutorial. I recommend using the same password you log in for, just for simple terms. But if you're going for full maximum security, I'd randomly generate a password of sequence and numbers if I were you, and I'd write two different ones down. But yeah, so I'm going to fill in a password, click change password. And click change password. And your password has been changed. Perfect, click FTP information. And this is where you begin doing stuff. So, copy F10 Preview Award Space dot net. Right click copy, control C copy, make sure you get no spaces or it'll mess up. Then go back to Dreamweaver and paste it in FTP address. Yes? I should just probably zoom in and show you that. Sorry, I'm still getting used to that. Right there, look. And then, the default port for doing with that is 21 so always choose 21 unless it specifies other your username is this thing right here so copy go back to Dreamweaver paste and now the password you just typed in type it in and then click test now if this test throws an error you've got problems if it does not you're all good your dream Dreamweaver has connected successfully connected good that's good if you haven't got that triple check your details triple check everything make sure you've set this tutorial up perfectly if it doesn't work reboot make sure you've clicked your activation email give them a day or two to finish analyzing just in case you saw mine though it was in seconds it was done so it should be reliable but you might just get unlucky at the time of viewing otherwise it'll be a problem for your router try it at a friend's house or something or a library or college workplace so now that we've got that, root directory and web URL are a little bit different than T15 if you set that up. For root directory, you simply type the name of your website, Danbrooks2, yes? But then you put dot and then you put whatever you chose, so it's dx.am for me. So if you chose one of the longer ones, put that in. And then with web URL, you literally put it after HTTP. Do that and you're golden. That usually means you're good. Then go to advanced for our final stage and set server model to PHP SQL because that's what database we will be using. PHP connecting to a MySQL database. And you see, it should have done it. It says that, blah blah blah, just click OK, it means it's setting it up. Click done and now let's test it. So to test it is really, really, really simple. All we're going to do is now that we've uploaded our server, is you're going to change whatever you've done. You see I've changed this from our last bit part of the tutorial because this was for the T15 section. But what we can do is literally just, I don't know, uh, here, A, W, award, A, W, A, R, D, I'm messing up, S, P, A, C, E, award space. 
as you see, save it. And all you're going to do is you can either, when you first ever, 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 ever do it, you want to click on the very top and click the blue arrow. And this will upload your entire site up. Upload to your thing. So, are you sure you want to publish the entire site? Click OK. It'll put it onto the server. So, you've got a blank space on the server. It's uploading it to that server. It's done. We should now be able to test it. But, before you test it, I just want you to listen, just for a minute. On index PHP, or any page you edit, click the separate page and click upload. Otherwise, say if you put a mistake in here, say that it says an A and you don't want the A, then you go and upload everything and forget about it, you'll have a broken site, so only upload what you've changed. Okay? So we needed to do it at first because you've got blank and we needed to sort it out. So if we go to the internet now and click refresh, it should not work. <laughs> Why? There we go, it just had to initialize a minute. The server basically had to say, well, it's still blank, but someone's trying to connect, wait a minute, and then it works. So as you can see, danbrooks.am, you can now give your address or my address or my other address to any person in the whole world, and it'll connect, just like that, as you can see. But personally, I've moved away from a world space. Like I said, I use t15.org now. But they both still good. I was very happy with the World Spaces service for as, as long as I had it, which was like four months or something. I was happy. So as you can see, you can do whatever you like. It's that easy. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please thumbs up if you're a World Space fan. Otherwise, go to T15 and thumbs that up. And I'll see you next time.